Rickets uh, is term used uh, in children and ostomalasia in, in adults uh, for disorders of uh, uh, of disorders of metabolic disorders of calcium and phosphate. From etiopatogenic point of view, uh, uh, the, 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 there are uh, some groups. Uh, the most known is uh, the group vitamin D deficiency uh, due to inadequate exposure to sunlight, deficient intake of vitamin D and dietary calcium deficiency. Uh, the uh, next causes uh, uh, have hepatic origin, renal origin, intestinal origin. Pediatricians uh, know well these uh, disorders and these problems. And the Second special group uh, is rickets and osteomalacia in, uh, uh, of, of congenital uh, uh, origin. Uh, this, uh, this is phosphate loss due to renal tubular disorders. Uh, there are nosologic units like vitamin D resistant rickets. The most known is uh, X-linked hypophosphatemia, X-linked hypophosphatemic rickets. Well known is also Fanconi syndrome and renal tubular acidosis. It is also very well known uh, to pediatricians. Uh, rarely uh, we diagnosed so-called oncogenic rickets. It is disorder of calcium phosphate metabolism uh, in patients suffering uh, with uh, tumors. <coughs> Major clinical findings of rickets uh, and osteomalacia is short stature, bowling and short low limbs, holding gait, protuberant abdomen, rachitic Rosaries. In the end of 19th century and the beginning of 20th century in Europe was some epidemic uh, of rickets and it was the threat of parents. Uh, laboratory find, findings, the typical is hypophosphatemia due to Elevated serum alkaline phosphatase levels. In, in congenital uh, cases, hypophosphatemia is caused by diminished tubular resorption of inorganic phosphate. Uh, major hierarchical features might or moderate lachitic changes in congenital uh, cases, in acute uh, vitamin D deficiency, uh, there are severe rachitic changes. Uh, apparently by epistle plants, bowing of long bones, core stomach root pattern, loser zones and fractures in older age, mild or severely expressed osteopenia in childhood, uh, but in adulthood uh, we diagnose generalized osteosclerosis. In children is premature epiphyseal closure and cranial dysostosis in some cases. On this scheme of gross epiphysis by uh, Estreich, uh, you see so-called pseudo-epiphysis. It 
it is the widening of epiphyseal uh, plates and uh, demineralization of carpal and tarpal bones, bones, carpal and uh, tarsal bones. Uh, you see uh, typical X-ray changes and uh, and deformities at the ends of rachitic bones and on histological uh, uh, figure uh, you see uh, widening of anosified osteoid seams and the uh, trabecules. Hematoxin colored. Uh, you see a case of G gypsy boy, uh, typical X-ray changes in two years, and typical deformities of legs after uh, treatment by vitamin E, uh, holocalciferol, uh, and uh, uh, calcium. The changes was uh, quickly normalized. Uh, similar course of treatment was in the boy with uh, it is mulatto. Uh, in both children, markers of bone metabolism were significantly higher, uh, but. Uh, uh, in the uh, time of diagnosis, the levels of uh, serum phosphate uh, was normal. Uh, many times uh, was elevated uh, total alkaline phosphatase and bone isoenzyme of alkaline phosphatase. Uh, now I turn attention to Phosphate was due to renal tubule disorders to uh, uh, X-linked hypophosphatemic rickets. Uh, this unit belonged to the group, abnormal mineralization group. Uh, there are congenital defects uh, in the reabsorption of filtrate phosphate and the metabolism of vitamin D, which causes hypophosphatemia. Uh, X-linked dominant mode of inheritance, prevalence is 1 to 2,000 uh, inhabitants. Gene defect effects was discovered and localized at XP due to short arm of X chromosome. Uh, in the FEX gene was identified around 160 mutations. Uh, our group of patients consists from 33 patients born in 1940 to 2007. Average height of 11 females uh, was 147. Average height of 8 males, 154 centimeters. Uh, in all patients, uh, we introduced medicamentous treatment combination of oral phosphates and uh, vitamin D, it is so-called vitamin D3 or calciferol. Uh, there are some uh, uh, obstacles or some complications uh, by uh, uh, too much phosphates Causes so called secondary or tertiary hyperparathyroidism. And, and on the other hand, 
excess of vitamin D3 causes hypercalcemia, hypercalciuria, and in some cases, nephrocalcinosis. Uh, in the Children's Hospital uh, at Westminster, Sydney, Australia, uh, they uh, proved growth hormone and bisphosphonates, but uh, without any results. Surgical treatment is indicated in severe bone deformities. Uh, we uh, carry out corrective and or multiple osteotomies. We use uh, different type of internal nailing, external fixation. In last year we used so-called hemiepiphysiodesis. You see some examples of uh, surgical procedures. Uh, it is uh, uh, intramedullary nailing by prevot nails. Uh, this is so-called gui guided growth by eight plates and uh, uh, classic plate osteosynthesis is used to or uh, blunt uh, stepless fixation, in some cases external fixation and assured nailing is used in adult patients. You see results of anthropometric uh, assessment. There is uh, uh, growth of patients uh, with hypothyroid uh, growth curve of 15 patients uh, born 1987 and later, mean height was below 2.1 standard deviation, uh, uh, final height of 18 patients born before 1987, was lower, uh, uh, minus 3.4 standard deviation. On graph, uh, you see uh, growth curve of boys uh, with hypothyroid kids. Uh, the growth line is around uh, the third percentile. BMI of, of boys uh, is uh, above average, they are overweight or some are obese. I show you uh, shortly three case uh, reports. Uh, uh, this is a boy, the inheritance uh, was uh, uh, X dominant linked. There were transmission to the third generation. Our proband was born 1987. We uh, treated him at seven years after uh, some compensation of bone metabolism. Uh, in one stage, we uh, uh, corrected uh, one leg in the second stage, the second leg. You see the uh, result in 18 years. And uh, you see his morphogram in adulthood. His uh, short stature, short legs, normal head circumference. Very short lower extremity, upper extremity, uh, and uh, um, we uh, started uh, collect experience with 
Happy Epiphysor is with eight, eight plants. I will talk about it uh, in the next lecture. Uh, we, uh, this method we used uh, in six patients until now. And final results uh, we have in two patients at present. Uh, this uh, boy in Preskulage was treated uh, by uh, corrective uh, osteotomies and uh, internal nailing by uh, prevot nails. And uh, at uh, the age 13, we uh, carried out uh, correction of knee velocity by uh, eight plate. This is the result correction was not uh, total because of uh, advanced bone age when when we indicate this procedure, there, uh, there is uh, bad cooperation with the family and uh, they didn't come for, uh, for appointments where they are invited in time. Uh, and this is a result of eight plate guided growth system in a girl. She uh, was uh, till the age of 14 years treated uh, conservatively by intake of calcitriol and uh, phosphates, uh, but due to progression of uh, genua valga, we uh, carried out uh, eight plate epiphysiodesis and uh, correction was s s successful. Uh, you see it on X-ray phenotype I will present in next lecture. Uh, also, uh, we uh, provide uh, densitometric examination in all patients suffering with uh, bone dysplasias in uh, uh, patients with uh, hypophosphatemic rickets uh, uh, in uh, children and they usually suffered from mild osteopenia. Uh, you see that score uh, is uh, minus 0 0.5. is uh, in total densitometry and in spine region the uh, standard deviation is minus uh, 0 0.6 but uh, in adults we usually prove uh, so-called osteosclerosis in these patients uh, T-score in lumbar spine is 4.5 and in region of proximal femur is 1.0 plus. Precautious osteitis of the hip and knee joints and spondylarthritis in adulthood could be explained from a biomechanical point of view as a consequence of generalized osteosclerosis. Very tough sclerotic subchondral bone disturbs joint cartilage during common daily activities. Delayed healing of osteotomies is caused uh, presumably by abnormal bone metabolism. You see uh, advanced osteoarthritis in uh, young women uh, later in 50 years and, 
another woman in the 60 years. This is advanced uh, osteoarthritis of hip joints. They suffer from pains. Uh, Long-term supplementation of children and adults with hyperbaric kids by calcitriol and inorganic phosphate is often attended by side effects like secondary or tertiary hyperparathyroidism, hyperglycemia, hypercalciuria, and nephrocalcinosis. In the light of recent studied, studies of European and also Czech authors referring on seasonal hypovitaminosis D, the authors recommend preventive administration of vitamin D ergocalciferol not only to infants but also to toddlers and children of preschool age and school age and also to adults of advanced age alike to above mentioned, uh, mentioned immigrants. Uh, when considering the costs and risk associated with osteotomies, guided growth in children presents us with an option of early intervention with obvious advantages. Thanks for your kind attention. The time for discussion is open. Please have some remarks, questions, uh, yes. comments. Thank you, uh, Professor Major. Uh,